Hello, this is me, Jodie Jonesad, and I'm playing Tomb Raider Angel Darkness on the PC. This is our research facility. We have to go into this room and we have to talk to this guy. It's a bit annoying. Come on, Lara. Don't breathe, and definitely don't move. You are in big trouble, whoever you are. Intruders don't last long in Strahov. Just answer my questions. Fine. First question, who are you? Second question, what are you and your buddies up to in here? You really don't know what the Cabal is. We are the beginning of a new order of life on Earth. Well, I've never heard of you. Ignorant mortal. The Cabal! We control everything here in Prague. It means that we are going to be immortal. And you are going to be dead, intruder. Immortal? That is impressive. How are you going to manage that? Meister Eckhart is about to return the Nephilim race to glory. For our part in that triumph, he will grant us immortality. If I had a coconut for every time some lunatic said something like that. Your pathetic ignorance blinds you. We already have the last vital element from Turkey here in Strahov. And that is? The only true remaining Nephilim. The Cubiculum Nephili, the Sleeper. That's right. The last of the extinct race here in the Strahov. Surely the Nephilim are just a myth. You see, ignorance. With vital essences extracted from this precious specimen, Meister Eckhart can breed the next generation of pure Nephilim. No more abomination to run amok like Boaz's proto-Nephilim. She deserved to pay for her stupidity. Yes. Highly inconvenient having abominations running around loose, isn't it? You have no idea what you are mocking. This happens in very small. It's funny. Lara says I had a coconut the next time someone said that to me. Didn't you learn anything from that little bar calling Lara set? And Von Croy when he's possessed. No, nothing goes in one ear. She didn't learn anything, does she, Lara? Right, we have to get out of this room. So what we have to do is pull a lever. And I found there's a pickup round here somewhere. Where the bloody hell is it? And I get to bullet something. I think they would actually tell her exactly what they were going to do. They'd just kill her, wouldn't they? What are you doing here? Bang! There's, you know, it's all the head with a plant. Anyway, we go to this bit here, pull this thing, this long side, Lara. They wouldn't tell her, they just knock her on the head, wouldn't they? Pull this thing, it opens this thing, it's very vulnerable. Secret room. Every time they want you to go into another room, they'd have to pull out a lever, wouldn't they? Bit silly. Very implausible. Go into here and there's a number of pickups. A ladder. Lara, you're missing the ladder. I am the ladder. This game is just quite funny, isn't it? They spot you for murder and all she does is kill people and they disappear into thin air. Funny. You wouldn't, you would have thought they would have found another way to kill people or get rid of them somehow. But no. Uh, that opens that door. We get into the next part. Lara and you jump off. And there's another section which, is, which involves this thing where you got like a proto Nephilim thing. But if you kill it, it activates these mini Boaz ninja things, they're like little bug things, they're very difficult to kill and you end up using all your ammo and health, very annoying so you don't have to kill this next guy in this uh, next section here we're going to fly past and then the, this one end one opens up So try to avoid him, he will shoot things at Lara occasionally, but he's, he's only a threat if you stand still, basically, so... There's a couple of pickups around here somewhere. 
No, where are we going? What are we doing? There's one there. Lara, we're getting stuck. Lara. I had another problem with my mic was going recorder. I recorded it already, completed it, and in the edit it turned out really quite sort of nasty looking, so... Uh, two pickups here, one here, one further down. Let these bugs come out, these shoot things. It's a lot easier if you don't kill this, this thing, so... I've already done this, it's so annoying. We just jump up here, this was a bit of a revelation. I was like, how do we get up? There's this bit she climbs on here. I managed to do it without looking at a guide. I did miss some bits out, like various pickups, but... I didn't think I did too badly, because I, I didn't I play this level in about two, two and a half years. So we go to the top here, what you can do is you can either drop down, or you can go back the way we just come. If you drop down, you end up losing half your health. That's very annoying, that jump. I keep falling off that. So we're going to go, let's do this valve first, because we'd have to come back around if we didn't go this end. So we'll go with this end first. The ladder looks tempting, but actually this is a lot of health, so I think it's not too much trouble to go back over the grip bar thing that we were on. I don't know what that thing was. I just do a bit of walking, because it's just, it's very easy to walk off this thing. Ten times as hard if those ninja bug turn, things turn up and, and they change you all over the place and end up losing you. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, this is a bit of... Ugh, why can't this have a thing? Why is there a bit missing? I don't know. Yeah, this opens another... How are you supposed to get down into that other bit? I don't know. Lara, you're getting caught on the corners. We're so far into the game, I mean, it really doesn't matter what the logic is, to be honest. I thought smashing all the pod things down there, the glass things, would make a difference, but it didn't make any difference at all. Oh, where are we going? We need to go back the way we came. So I've not actually done this. No, I've actually practiced it. But it does save you from losing, uh... Come on, uh, Half your health, so... We can get back, rather than having to worry about falling off. I mean, we can do this. Yes. Is Lara a bit of kind? Can Lara? Okay, that guy, he'll run around, but he won't really do any damage. But, um, unless you stand still, of course. Right, what we need to do is... Where are we going? Go back down here. Again, avoid that guy, if we can help it. There he is, a little kit. So we jump down here, and we end up in this pool of water. We just need to climb up. We can't move because the camera's fixed on this. That thing in the bottom looks like a, a doorway, but it's just a reflection of the door. Ooh, is there anything else around here? Right, we go to this room, we need to slide down and grab onto this ladder. If you fall into the water, you can get out in another room where we're going to, but there's a thing in the water that can kill Lara, and there's a, uh, one of the guards, if he catches you, they'll shoot you really easily, so that's very annoying. And if we go to the top, we get a health pickup. I don't think you can come back through this door if you... Right, we need to pick this up. We get a health back there. Go through this door. We go through this corridor, and the steam doesn't hurt Lara. So, not a problem. Now, we need to go into this room. There's a guy in here we have to shoot, and... Lara. He sometimes goes underneath the uh, door here, which is a bit annoying. Lara, get him, where is he? Well, what you can do, you can do one or two things. You can either play it the way that uh, Cortisone wanted you to play it, which is essentially going up there. Or you can do it with a kind of a workaround. So, I'm going to show the way that you're supposed to do it, and then I'll show the workaround, so that's not too bad. I've got this wall here, I've never practiced this originally, so... It's all a means to get across the room, basically, but... Oh, I'll go this way, I don't want to fall off. And what you have to do is pull a lever, and it makes this little carriage thing go across the middle of the top of the room. 
And there were no pickups as far as I know. I'm gonna put going to walk because I'm almost falling off this. I did check out after I did the um the main practice. So I had a guide, I was like, ah, oh, okay, I'm totally missed that out. But I did progress past the room, so it didn't really matter. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to here. And that thing there, it moves. You pull that. And it moves this thing. Very plausible. I don't know what the logic was behind this. It does that. It's very annoying. I don't think much it is. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. I need to get down from here. Okay. I'm going to walk those. I do not want to fall off there. You can jump down. Climb down rather. I just dropped down there. Ow! Right, so what I need to do now is to get... Stop, stop walking. There's a valve thing here. We have to turn off. It's easy to fall in the water. Okay, no, oof. Turn this off first. There's a pickup there as well. There's no animation showing Lara turning that off because we have to climb up that thing. Go into walk mode. Get the clip, Lara. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There's a few pickups we have to get as well. So we go all the way up to the top, Lara. Run, jump. It's a bit of a mess about this, it's just a... No fun at all. But yeah, there's one or two ways. There is a workaround, a bit like on the uh, Temple Wharf level in Terminator 3. You can basically get round a lot of the things they put in your way. You know, if you want to play it exactly as the temp uh, core design intended, then you play it exactly, but sometimes it's nice to get round these problems. It's a nice little workaround sometimes, because sometimes levels are just a bit unfair. So what we need to do is get her into warp mode, and she'll do an auto side by side step thing. And then Lara gets on the uh, drain pipe. You have to push up and left or she won't get off the drain pipe or she'll keep climbing on that and up and down this ledge. I've got to get her on this side of it. She won't pull up unless she gets onto this platform. So I'm going to do a save. Clara. So what you can do is you can climb up this thing. Now the thing you got to remember is but you've got to be on the far side. So basically, Lara, what are you doing? I was a bit retarded, that was. Go this way. Because she's on this second bit here. I didn't do any of this in this new practice, so I'm thinking I've already got past it. I know, I, I know how to circumvent it as well, but just for completeness, I might as well do it. You have to be on this side. Lara does that auto thing where she turns the body around, keep going this way. If, as long as you're on this far side, she should get onto that. That's what you're supposed to do, apparently. You stay in warm mode, Lara. And you just walk over here, and then, of course, you drop down. No big deal. Drop down, Lara. And you're on the other side. Now I'm going to show you. Right, take her out of warp mode. Run, jump, grab, and that's how you get around it. So you can either do it the hard way, which is a bit annoying, or end up in exactly the same place. Or you can do it the easy way, which is a bit of fun. We'll just drop down here, Lara. And we'll go into the next section. So if Lara is so kind to open the door. Come on, Lara. Thank you very much. And I'll stop here and I'll be back in the next part of Bio Research Facility.